Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch Up Cooking Channel, where we make simple and delicious dishes. Today's recipe was inspired by one of our viewers, who asked for a tutorial on how to cook a steak in a pan without an oven or a grill. Thank you so much for such a great idea, and we're happy to show you how to prepare a seared steak in a cast iron skillet, and we will top it off with fragrant and tasty compound herb garlic butter. As always, full list of ingredients and recipes included in the description box below. And I'm including timestamps in the comments if you need to skip around the recipe while cooking. Let's begin! The ingredients for this are super simple. Start with one stick of softened room temperature butter. If you can, try to get good quality European butter. I really like the French Trader Joe's butter for this. Add one clove of pressed garlic. Chop up finely your fresh herbs. I have here parsley and dill, but you can use other herbs such as basil, oregano, thyme, or rosemary. Any combination here will work well. Try sticking with fresh herb instead of dry for a brighter color and flavor. Some sea salt. A little bit of fresh pepper squeeze some lemon juice now let's mash it up together into unified consistency now get some parchment paper or saran wrap and shape your butter into a log Wrap it up tightly and put it in your refrigerator to rest while we cook the steak. Let's get our steaks out of the fridge. Season your steaks with salt and pepper and let them sit at room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes. When choosing your steak for frying, go for the thicker steaks that are about one and a half inches thick. Thicker steaks will let you get a really good sear on them without overcooking the meat. So try looking for ribeye, New York strip steak, or filet. I have here a beautiful grass-fed ribeye. When cooking on the stovetop, choose a pan with a heavy base. So it will cook the steak evenly and easily release it. I prefer for this my cast iron skillet, but other heavy base skillets will be fine too. Heat up your skillet on high heat. If you have an instant ring thermometer, the skillet should be at about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. If not using an iron skillet, add some cooking oil, but a well-seasoned cast iron skillet doesn't need any. Add the steaks and cook them on one side for three minutes. It should be really nicely browned, and if it's not browned, give it another minute. Flip the steaks and sear the other side for three minutes. Reduce the heat from high to medium high and cook for another three minutes. Flip. And cook until instant read thermometer reads the right temperature for how done you want it to be. Once the steaks are ready, transfer them to a plate and cover them with a loose foil or a bowl and let them rest for at least 5 minutes. Resting is important as it allows the juices to be redistributed so you don't end up with a dry steak. While the steak is resting, let's get our herb garlic butter out and slice it. Cut your steak. And top it with butter medallions. And now it's ready to be served. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more awesome content from us.